Hello from Wayne's Golf Carts out here in Indio, California, out in the desert. Today I'm going to make a little video on how to replace, or you can call it repair, but usually it means replacing, the parking brake on a club car precedent. So we're going to get started. This cart that I'm showing you right now, the parking brake will not stick, it will not stay. So I already know what the issue is, but I'm going to try to film this and show you um, how you can fix this. So turn the camera around. The lighting is not that great. Hopefully it gets better. This around. Okay, this is the this is the precedent. I'm working on it. This is the remember this is pedal group two. Got the black metal and the curved pedal. So right now, see if I can do this. Right now the the parking brake will not set it just lets go and every once in a while you will get to catch but as soon as you rock the cart it, it won't catch so what has to be done I need to pull the floor up I need to take this pedal group 2 out and to do those things this is what I'm going to need I'm going to need two half inch wrenches a ratchet or in this case a battery operated drill. I'm going to need two of these Torx bits, a T30 and a T40. Okay, T40, the bigger one, we're going to use to take these four bolts out so we can move that uh, mat. And then when we're going to take that pedal group out, the Two of the bolts are T30s and two of them are T40s. So let's pull these bolts out and then we'll yank that floor mat up. Okay, I've removed those two bolts. Now I'm going to remove the two from this side. I'm going to put these up here for later. Now we're going to reach the floor mat it tucks up underneath this cup holder so we're going to reach under release it we're going to go over and do the same thing from the other side going to reach under here and pull this there we go it's out you can see how it's out now we ought to be able to come over here just pull this back a little bit and we ought to be able to pull this mat out of here See if I can do it with one hand. Okay, yeah, it's coming out. It just barely tucks under there. And once I once I get the entire mat up, there it is. Okay, so all I have to do now is pull it up and over the pedals and take it out. Okay, I got the mat up. Now I'm going to stick my finger in this hole and pull this plate up and this Christmas tree is going to come flying out. Then I'm going to take my T30 bit and try to get these four bolts out. The two on the driver's side are really long, twice as long as the other side. And sometimes those are self-tapping. They're about three inches long. When you get them out so far, sometimes it gets stuck and you got to grab your channel locks and put them on the head and rock it back and forth. I'm hoping that's not the case this time, but we're going to find out. So let me stick my finger in here, pull up on this. I want the Christmas tree fastener. So now we're in the floor. And before I take these four screws out, this is the brake. So this is what you need the two half inch wrenches for. You're going to put one on this coupler, you're going to put one on this nut and you're going to loosen this and then we're going to twist this until this rod becomes disengaged from here. Okay, before I go any farther I wanted to show you the brake I took apart. I put one wrench on here on this coupler, put the other one on that nut and backed it off and then I unscrewed this you can see how long the threads are and I had to loosen that will allow the brake to let go 
There's the two screws on that side I took out. Look at the two on this side. See how much longer they are? And I was telling you they're self-tapping. So these usually get rusty. You can see how they're all rusty because people hose off their mat and wet grass gets in there. But just want to show you sometimes you back it out and this flared head is still stuck in there. That's why you got to put your pliers on here, channel locks, and just wiggle it until it comes out. So now this thing right here, this pedal group, is ready to come out. At this point, you can just pick it up. There it is. There's the whole pedal group out. There's the M core, the whole shot. So I'm going to unplug that M core, and I'm going to take this... Uh, pedal group and throw it up on the workbench and show you what's going on. Okay, I've got two pedal groups out to show you. This is the one I just took out of the 09 precedent that the uh, parking brake will not catch. This is out of another one, but this one the parking brake does catch. I want to show you the difference between a bad one and a good one. First of all, let me show you, this is the part, this is the parking brake release part that you can replace on these pedal group tubes. The most important part is this right here, see if I can turn this around, it's a little piece of steel that's coming off, one in, this one's brand new, so you can see it's completely flat, Let's see if I can get a picture, there it is, looks like a half moon from the end, but you see the part that's flat? That's what a new one looks like. This one, this is the part right here in the old one. Let's see if I can hold So this is the new one lined up next to it. Now you see right here where I was telling you? What this rides right underneath this wheel. You see how this wheel is spinning? It's spinning because the shaft on here is worn out. It's got a little dip worn into it. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. There you are. If you look real close, see how that's worn down? That's why it doesn't catch when you step. See how this just free wheels? It's because there's no steel there. Let me back it up. See that gap in there? There's no steel in there. Now I have fixed that by welding filling it in with weld, but this part right here, you can get this part for 50 bucks right here, so it's not worth messing around with, but this is the bad one. To replace it, you got to take pedal group out, you got to take this apart, pull this brake side of it off, and you can see how it mounts there. Now, on the new, good one, let me show you on the good one. Okay, this is the good one. Now, see how I'm trying to turn this wheel? See how it's hitting? I'll show you, there's no gap in there because it's hitting. That's what's happening. When you press on, you press on the go pedal. I don't know how I can do this. Underneath, what's happening, this little cog right here, catches on one of these little pieces, these teeth. And when it does, this locks underneath one of these cutouts. So if I was to do this, let me, okay, I locked it, it's locked right now. Pedal, the parking brake is on, see? See how it's out of line? Now, see how this part won't move, this part will not move, whereas in this one over here, it moves freely because that's all worn out. This one here, it's tight and up against there, the way it's supposed to be. So that's why the parking brake on these precedents wears out. Now, this piece is different on pedal group ones. It's a completely different animal on, on ones. They call it a PAWL, a P-A-W-L. And it's a little square, about two by two. Got, it's silver and it's really loosey-goosey. It's, it's, uh, 
you can still buy those, but you can't buy group one pedal groups anymore. So I'm uh, I'm now selling just brand new pedal group twos for people that want to uh, upgrade and maybe they when you need an M core instead of paying the price for an OEM two, which is your only option on a uh, group one pedal. Um, with a group two, you've got the option of using an M core two or an M core four, and the M core four is a lot cheaper. So um, text me, email me, email me if you have uh, questions about that because um, there is a little, uh, it's not a conversion kit, but there is an adapter to go from M core two to four if your pedal group doesn't already have it. Or um, if you want a whole new pedal group, hit me up. I'm going to start putting them, the pedal group twos on my eBay store, new ones, and I'll be selling them without the, without the M core in case yours goes out. You can replace this, your M core onto my new pedal group. So I'll be doing that. But anyway, this video was to show you about the parking brake and on the precedent. Hopefully it helps. Um, it's a hassle to take apart and, and it's a hassle to um, actually get to this part here. Again, the part's about 50 bucks, but the time and labor would be a lot easier to... You can buy a whole new pedal group for you know, less than 200 bucks, but you take it out, put it in a lot faster than you're going to be messing with this um, brake stop. So anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, starting to heat up here. It's only 105 today, <laughs> but the heat's coming. So text me, email me, send me questions, and uh, I'll be glad to help you. Wayne's Golf Carts in Indio, California. Thank you.